Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So more plastic confirmation for the Horus Heresy. Actually, not just for the Horus Heresy, for Warhammer 40,000 as well. Because for those of you who don't know, you can use this tank in Warhammer 40,000. It's just called a Relic Sakarian Battle Tank. Anyway, let's jump in. Let's read the article. Let's go through all the information because there is some new information here. There's some new weapon loadouts, weapon options and stuff. And uh, just discuss this tank and also the future stuff which is going to be going plastic um, for the Horus Heresy as well. Now, this is probably not a surprise to a lot of people because this leaked along with the Kratos Battle Tank um, a couple of days ago. It showed off the Kratos in the book and it also showed off uh, the Sakarian Battle Tank. I've been mentioning it now for a couple of months in my Horus Heresy 2 point zero rumors um, that this is going to be going plastic and it's nice to see that the confirmation is of course correct and we're actually getting it in plastic as well this is probably one of the most popular tanks in the Horus Heresy again please correct me if you're wrong I just know all my friends who play Horus Heresy every last one of them has this tank some have more than one of this tank and for the tank itself I think it's a nice looking tank I think it looks very very square and brutal and this is what I love about my designs and my space marine designs I love everything with an edge to it this is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm not that really hyped with the squat reveals that we had at Warhammer Fest I know I'm talking about squats during this video but it seemed too round where is this is the kind of design I like nice square big flat surfaces it just looks brutal and this is why it's probably a popular tank and also one of the coolest looking tanks for the Space Marine range now a little bit of information or I should say a little bit of lore regarding this tank I actually didn't know this so this was originally designed by Rebuta Gilliman and Ferris Manus um, that's new to me I just thought this was like you know an admin kind of thing uh, the Sakarian features elements of a number of STCs to create high-speed destroy tank to complement the Predator and the Land Raider. Thanks to its incredible speed, it can outflank slower vehicles and bring its accelerator auto cannons to bear on weaker sides of rear armor of enemy war machines. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know Rob and Ferris actually designed this. Hopefully the head doesn't pop off. Um, but yeah, cool tank. And boy, oh boy, does this thing come with a lot of weapon options. Um, the image in the background now is just showing a preview of some of them but it says here in the text beyond the giant auto cannons this new plastic kit comes with more weapons than you can shake a stick at you can choose from heavy bolters las cannons heavy flamers or volkite culverins as the sponsor weapons and there's a choice of combi weapons havoc launchers multi-melters heavy bolters heavy flamers as the pintle mounted weapon so guess yeah that comes with a lot of daca for you to choose from and um should suit really any type of scenario against any type of foe that you could face on the battlefield so it's nice to see more stuff going from the resin range over to the plastic range i'm sure this is going to be a popular kit again not just for 30k but for 40k i think i'm going to pick up one now it's in plastic for 40k and add it to my last wall force um i've always said this is a nice looking tank i just didn't like resin i just i just don't want to work with resin um anymore and leading on to that it actually does say that we're going to be getting some new stuff next week next thursday we're, we're going to see more reveals and i think i know what it could be i think we may be seeing the leviathan dreadnought finally get its plastic version um of a kit um back when we were all these rumors were coming out of horror says the 2.0 some of the two things that were mentioned to me was the land raider or should i say three things was uh the land raider um the sakarian battle tank which has just got confirmed today and the leviathan dreadnought and i've always said this the leviathan dreadnought is one of my favorite dreadnoughts that space marines can have and again it's not just for 30k it's for 40k so if this does happen and they do show that off next week which i'm, I'm more or less convinced they are going to i'm like 99.9 .9 convinced i am going to be adding this to my 40k force as well anyway chaperoonios that's enough waffling from me i'd love to get your thoughts as always horus heresy people do you like it it's going over from resin i'm sure everyone loves the resin products kind of being faded out i'm sure there's people out there that like resin but the more stuff in plastic the more easy it is to work with i personally think the easy it is to go together easy it is to kit bash in my opinion um as well so hopefully we'll get to see even more things next week we'll get to see even more reveals more awesome stuff don't forget the game or should i say the box set is be releasing um june i'm going to say it's going to be the start of june so hopefully by the end of this month we're going to be seeing some weapon uh, not weapons some price options being slung around you know for all the uh, the, well, the big box set of all, all the small boxes for the separate pieces weapon upgrades everything like that right enough waffling thank you for coming thank you for watching as always see you in a bit have a nice day and bye bye